pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook, Lesson 2, Insights. I have given everything I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, all the meaning that it has for me. The idea for today is very empowering because it is we who have given all the meaning everything we perceive has for us. We have the power to change its meaning. Thus, salvation is in our hands. Our release is not dependent upon what anyone else does. Our release comes with changing the meaning we give to anything and everything. Thus, this idea is the cornerstone of the foundation for forgiveness and healing. Much of the text and the workbook lessons are there to help us see the truth of this statement. Yet, whether or not we accept it as true at this point is not essential. However, doing the exercise as specified is essential, for it is one more step in opening our mind to complete release from bondage and return to the heaven of our holy mind. The process of complete reversal of our thinking is done step by step. Impatience is of the ego. Disappointment is of the ego. Stress is of the ego. Our mind is yet undisciplined, and so there may be some effort required to bring discipline to it. But excessive effort can be used by the ego as a means to discourage us from continuing on with our mind healing. That is why these early lessons appear to be very simple and trivial to us. They are not trivial. It is helpful not to confuse simplicity with meaninglessness. The ego thrives on complexity. It is the Holy Spirit who will show us that what appears to be complex always comes down to one single problem and a single solution. For today, our job is to simply practice the exercise with gratitude that we are taking an important step in our healing. The things that have the most meaning to me now had no meaning to me a decade ago. And these things are sitting in a park, walking in the woods, sunny days, a drive in my car on a beautiful fall day. But there are meanings here too, and I have assigned them. And when I don't, don't get to enjoy these things that I have placed so much meaning on, I get upset, frustrated, hurt. I feel angry and victimized. But 10 years ago, when these things, the sunny days and fall drives, the sitting in the park and the walking in the woods, had no meaning to me. I didn't feel victimized or angry, upset or frustrated. I didn't care at all. Hmm. Next time I get upset over something that I have assigned meaning to, I think I will remember a time when that thing had no meaning or a different meaning to me. I'm sure that will change my perception quite a bit or at least give me food for thought. After reading the lesson, I went to the Holy Spirit for more insight. I received the following. I sit in silence waiting for your allowing of my meaning. I wait for your recognition 
that the worldly meanings you chose mean nothing. They do not exist. They are thoughts projected from your mind, nothing more. These meanings came from the past. Choose me in the now. Let my meaning come to you now. My meaning will bring you joy, happiness, and healing. Your meaning ties you to pain, sorrow, and judgment. Let me love you into growing beyond your old attachments, your old meanings. Accept responsibility for your choice, your ability to choose, and then choose me. See all things for the nothingness they are, for they are not of me. But I can give meaning anew that will serve you better, that will show you truer perspective of what is. Wait no longer to let go of the old and let me give you something bright and shiny to replace it. Pathwaysoflight.org